<laughs> Joyful family. I watch her Auntie Dana live today. <laughs> I never catch it while it was happening, but I did a replay. Uh, me say, when me watch the live, and you know, I say, first of all, I am going to be talking to Jamaican people today. So I feel for chat Patwa. Yes, uh, I go chat Patwa because uh, a Jamaicans me talk to today. Uh, today, today, a Jamaicans. Uh, I may tell you, no, say, when me watch the live today, believe me, say, I don't watch out the live, you know. I don't watch out the live, uh, but I watch like half of it. Uh, and the half of the live that I watch was very pleasing to me. I laughed because Auntie Dana put them in a them place properly today. You see, all the Jamaicans, them, they look for good a people business place and trust or what you call credit and the same thing and don't like pay on a bill on a brute, you know, on a get it properly today from Auntie Dana. Yes, man. Imagine Auntie Dana see her friend Carol was keeping her live today over on Instagram. And the lady was over there venting, talking about all the people that or trust her, things them, and no one peer. No, Carol, Auntie Dana friend, sell nice things, nice decorative pieces for your home. Because Auntie Dana buy a lot of things from her. I mean, no, Auntie Dana have nice things in her house. And she show some things all the time or she talk about some things that she buy from Carol. But Mr. Carol sell nice things. She sell decorative pieces like cushions, carpets, wall pieces, sheet sets, you name it. The woman will shop abroad and then come to Jamaica and sell her things them. So tell me something now. Uno Jamaican people who trust the lady things them. No no see how money she use and buy them. And when she buy them, she have to turn. She have to buy a plane ticket first of all, to we. And she have to come and pay money if you clear them, because they know that she's doing business, so they're gonna charge her accordingly. They know she sell she sell back her things them. I don't know wicked enough for one trusty woman things them. I know Pierre, but what some of the things that made me laugh was how Auntie Dana dealt with them, because Auntie Dana feel her friend feel it for her friend Carol. She said she no owe Carol nothing. She never owe Carol yet. And I believe her. As much as they are friends, I believe her. Because Auntie Dana understand the concept of a business and what it takes to run a business. When you spend up your money and buy up things to sell back and people take the things them and up pay for it, what is going to happen? Your business is going to collapse. The business is going to crash because you don't have what it takes no money to put back or buy back the things them so some of the things that auntie dana said made me laugh i remember when i was doing a, a um, grocery slash bar slash food shop and uh, people would take my things and don't want to pay me back i remember how i felt about it i remember how i had to raise my voice and bad them up for my money I have a neighbor who is also a business lady and she always uh, say, boy, I wish I was like you because when they owe me, they don't want to pay me to for months and years and she always like owe me, she hear me, rough them up and I demand my money from them. Some of them I even go to their workplaces. When me know it's payday and sudden collect their envelope or some stretch my hand when they come take my food and uh, eat whole week uh, and say so when a weekend come then go pay me where me forget money from to pay my workers and buy back my food them my food stuff when me need to cook back for the whole week again if they don't pay me some of them don't know when they friday no care how they say friday or a saturday when friday or saturday come then pretend like they then gone home and gone, gone make for themselves and their family happy and then think about you when they go left in the problem and they, some of them want to come back Monday morning too and say, boy, I'm sorry about uh, so and so did happen. I'm going to get to pay you. Just give me some more food on weekend again. Now, if you fool and you fall for them, one week ago go by and two weeks ago go by and some of them still not pay you. And you will give them all one month too. 
if you're an idiot and one month pass and you're still not collect it happened to a lot of people i know so when me hear auntie donna they bad them up today to her friend carol me say yes that's right auntie donna never run for stamp them auntie donna says somehow no i keep man and i get nothing from man mm -hmm. some of the women them will take carol things them i keep man and not nah, get nothing from man to pay the lady for her things them Auntie Donna say, <laughs> this was the part that catch me the most. Eh? She said, oh, I want them. We say, she a prophetess and I preach every day. Who oh, Carol, two million dollars. Two million dollars, you know? I frighten, I frighten, I frighten. So till when I hear, then Carol, how oh, you trust that the one person is so? Because she a call out God, God every day. And them are some of the wickedest people you can ever come across. Me not trust them. I don't feel them. They are false prophets. Two million dollars. It sounds like I said she have a business going. And she expect Carol to supply her business. And when she sell the things them, she don't want to pay back Carol. I saw it sound to me. Why one person would have owe Carol two million dollars? Eh? why i can't understand that and uh, they're taking it to their platform such as ig and instagram to talk about it now and calling names and i don't blame them if i was doing social media at the time when i used to have problem with people to owing me and don't want to pay me and maybe i would have come on tiktok and talk about them call out their name to man or my youtube channel or ig or facebook uh, call it out yes uh, Another time, some of them would have come and want to compare you. Then, too wicked, man. <clears throat> People is too wicked. They see you, they do your business good, good. They don't know how you come by your money, if you buy your material, if you do your business. And when they come and take your things now and don't want to pay you back, they don't care if your business will, will fail. No, they don't care. Or they don't care how you want to come by money, if you buy back your goods, them to restock they don't care they only care about themselves and them family because if they owe you know and then come and tell us oh you know so maybe a bit it's sick i made that you can't go to a doctor i made that you fill prescription they expect you to have a heart and feel it for them but they don't expect said them to feel it for you when you can go to the supermarket or the wholesale and get any credit and then monday morning come you look like a big fool. Your shop have a lock because uh, no food can cook. You couldn't get to go to the market or the wholesale. Or you couldn't pay your workers. Uh, and your workers, they not turn up at work. They not going to have no heart for you. But every time they come and tell you them problem, you feel have a heart for them. Mm -hmm. Something did wrong with them car or them bike. Uh, and they did have to buy parts. Uh, so how you going to buy back your stuff? Uh, I may talk from the business that I used to do when they take my food and eat whole week and weekend come and then I want to pay me back when they drink out your liquor and weekend come and then go and next shop with drink and junk and pretend like they never remember you and the saddest part about some of them some of the, some of the, the situations you know then we know so they owe you and if they can't pay you then I come and spend a little money with you you know then go and spend it somewhere else who would that ever happen to? Yeah, man, you hear about it and you see them all the while. You will pass and you will see them and you say, You have to shake your head and say, Imagine, look when you owe me $10,000 and you have one $5,000 to spend. You could have come spend it with me same way and I understand and say, All right, even though you couldn't pay me the $10,000, you still have one $5,000 and you come buy a drink. But it is so hurtful and painful when they owe you. And don't come and pay you and go and spend their money elsewhere. Then go to one different food shop, go and buy cash. Even when they said they couldn't pay you. So why they couldn't come pay you and use the money now when they, when they, that money now come pay you and they could have still get credit again? Me say, a whole heap of them dead, a few of them dead, drop out with uh, owe me and uh, pay me. Me don't worry about them. Them the one that we pass and gone. I don't worry about their money. But the one that was still alive, 
and I walk around freely. And then I have no shame in the game. We owe me up to today day. Even though I come out of that business, uh, at them the one that I still have up here, I burn up enough book with people naming their heads. I talk about strangers and family alike. Uh, when I tell you, and I say, you see, family members, uh, them can be some of your biggest tear down. If you love up family, if you have them on way with your business, uh, or you're sorry for them, more than how you're sorry for yourself, uh, trust me, family can be the biggest problem in your business because uh, you burn up some family member name too. Mm -hmm. Write them off. Write them off. In a every business where you do, you always find people like that. And no matter what kind of business you do, you always find people like that who wants to come and take your things uh, and don't pay you. Wicked people, you call them the man. Wicked, wicked people. And I don't blame all the people who are take to them platform now. And I call their name, I put up their picture, and I put up their phone number to make them feel shame. I don't blame nobody who do that. Eh? If I was to do any such things again and they mess up there happen to me, I probably would do the same. Mm hmm me do the same. So yes, man, I say me have to rate Auntie Dana, you know, because uh, Auntie Dana always speak the truth. Uh, and when she talk the truth, then don't like her for it. Uh, but I will forever love her for dealing with things uh, up front and straightforward. As so people for stay. She is my cup of tea. Auntie Dana, well done. And you prove your friendship genuine again for speaking up for your friend Carol. I rate you for that, Auntie Dana. Yes, Jamaican people, one of you know yourself, one of too wicked.